season's been going great so far. I uh, had a great year. Um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been going to as planned, and uh, results have been coming, and uh, been really happy overall. Bikes worked worked really well, and uh, and uh, the races have been have been going great. So I've had a fun year for sure. Yeah. So last weekend, Saturday went probably the best race day that I've ever had. I was able to get um, into the 16s, and I got a new PB 16.3. So that's something I never thought I would ever accomplish and it was only I think three tenths away from the track record So I definitely wasn't expecting it, but it was really cool and it was a fun race day for sure But unfortunately on Sunday, I finally crashed for the season and I ended up crashing in turn 10 Just made a bad judgment call while trying to pass somebody and ran off my line But unfortunately that put me back in the championship in Moto3. It took me out of the lead put me six down so I think Adam's leading it now and this weekend's gonna come down to whoever wins that race so that'll be fun see how we both do under the pressure and 500 Superbike I still have a lead in same thing with the races on Saturday so I just have to finish those in a solid position and I should be all set yeah so uh, round six uh, I was able to get a fourth place behind uh, Adam Clark. Um, I had a decent start, so I cannot complain about the start. It was pretty good. Uh, just in some of the occasions, I mean, the Kramer is a very fast bike on a straightaway, so I, get, I kept getting uh, passed on a straightaway, which Mike is riding pretty, pretty good as well. Um, uh, fourth place, still in front of uh, championships, in first in championships, so I'm still happy. trying to wrap up the championships and they're a big deal because it's a big accomplishment that you work for and especially with the year I had last year it's going to be a good rebound if I can get them all done and going four for four is kind of a big deal for me so I want to get all four of them um, but if I don't even walking away the, the three that I get um, it'll be a great accomplishment and it'll look good on my resume to hopefully get some more sponsorship and help for Moto America next year um, and then yeah of course there's pressure because you don't want to throw any championships away and like I almost did last weekend but I'm just going to ride the way that I normally do there's a couple faster people coming in this weekend too so it'll be interesting and I'll have something to push for to take my mind off it yeah, uh, there's a lot of pressure this weekend. It's the last weekend. The championship is very close. I mean, I'm only 24 points in front of Gunner, but it's a double point weekend. So I think I need to come at least third to scoop the championship, keep my championship. Uh, and uh, that's the plan. That's the goal. It's a uh, challenge. I like it like that. I think it, it makes it more fun at the end of last round try to you know uh, put pressure on it I think it's uh, it's a good uh, good way to finish the uh, the season yeah who knows um, really uh, after 32 or 33 years of doing this um, you know I, I always have to kind of sit back and reevaluate uh, what the what the plans are what the goals are um, as as everybody knows in this game um, life just gets busier and busier uh, especially with a soon-to-be eight-year-old um, so uh, yeah we'll, we'll have to kind of wait and see you know still having fun on the motorcycle which is a key part of it uh, I told myself as soon as I wasn't having fun riding the motorcycle that I, that was the time to, to be done uh, but I seem to load the trailer and drive out of here with a smile on my face uh, after each weekend so still having fun doing it and uh, and uh, just trying to just trying to find enjoyment in it so if, uh, if it's fun be back you know so uh, right now it's still fun having a good time but you know again life's just getting busy and uh, you know work and family life is it's it's tough to balance with this whole race thing and to try to put a, a solid effort in um, like I've done for all these years so next season I'm definitely doing Moto America um, I've definitely committed to it I'm gonna do two rounds Pittsburgh and New Jersey um, I might be able to do a couple more if I can get some more help but we'll see I'm gonna work really hard this off season on trying to put some different plans together to make that happen and I just don't want to go under prepared I want to have the bike that I need to be competitive and I want to make sure that I'm ready so I'm just going to get all the pieces
pieces together of the puzzle and try to make it happen. And then I'll also be doing CCS and Loudoun. I'll do the Jersey rounds at CCS to prep for Moto America, and then I'll do the Loudoun rounds that I can get to. Um, I just want to keep supporting my home track and everybody here. I love being around them, so it's like my family. for this year. Even if I don't get these championships, they've been a huge part in all my success all season. So the Penguin Road Racing School and Eric Wood has been the best mentor I could ever ask for and he's gotten me to this point for sure. Um, Dunlop Motorcycle Tires, they have helped me so much this year. I don't think I would have gotten to the level that I got to without them. Um, I want to thank Bob Stengel. He's been a big supporter of mine for a long time. Um, Vance and Leathers and Bell Helmets, they always protect me when I crash. Um, Spears Racing, Innovative Motorsports, and RB Graphics, he always has my bike looking amazing. Um, thankfully, I kept it looking good all year, so that's a plus. Woodcraft Technologies and First Tracks, um, and this anybody else that I forgot, it's been a great year, and it wouldn't have been impossible without anybody. Uh, this season's been uh, obviously a lot of long-term, uh, long-time sponsors. You know, Dunlop Tires have been with me forever. Uh, you know, 20 plus years. Uh, Arai Helmets, uh, Vincent's Leathers offers some support. Spectral Oil, Seacoast Sports Cycle, Argo Cycles has been a huge sponsor over the years. Uh, SBS Brake Pads, and uh, you know, all the all those companies they, they they chip in a little bit. Some bigger than others, uh, some small, but every every little bit helps put the program together to make it one big unit to uh, to put on a successful season and a su successful program. But the biggest supporters are my family, so special thanks to them. Plans for next season. Uh, I definitely be back with the Motard in the Motard class. I'm not sure if I come back with a different bike either, but uh, definitely uh, do all the super single again. That's one of my favorite classes, uh, Motard and lightweight sportsman. I might change and a, th a fourth uh, class. I might get something, uh, sign up for something different, uh, but definitely excited for next, uh, next year. Yeah, this season's been uh, an excellent one. I mean, even better than I could have hoped it would have been building off of last year. So came right in, kind of right back to the times from last year, which is always hard. And times have just kept dropping almost every round. has been a new personal best, um, mostly staying in the podium in every race. And uh, the Dash for Cash this year has been an awesome run. Uh, pretty much, I think, top five almost every race. And it was a lonely fifth place or so for many of the races, but as of the last couple, really started to uh, close down that gap to that second, third place group. So, you know, last race running with Paul for 10 laps for th third, as long, long as I could, and then uh, let it go the last two. But yeah, it feels great to uh, really be finding that little extra bit to, to close some of these gaps to, to these guys that have been doing it a lot longer than me and get a lot more track time than I do in a year. I, I only show up the seven rounds and hope I can keep it together. Uh, so round six was a little tough. Uh, I was trying to get this bike sorted out um, and didn't quite get it where it needed to be. So we kind of suffered a little bit for points, but unfortunately, sometimes that's how it goes. Yep. So uh, so round five, um, unfortunately, I uh, took a little tumble in turn one, and uh, that bike was kind of out of commission for a couple weeks. So we were trying to make this bike uh, up to par with that bike, and with a lot of swapping and turning and switching, it didn't quite get there. Um, so like I said, we're still just a little little behind the ball and uh, we're working on this round to get the uh, A bike back up to spec. Uh, 22 season has gone going really good this year for me. I got my best uh, my best lap times this year. Uh, got the first 14s on the first weekend, so that kind of was a little nervous about going in the rest of the uh, rest of the year, see if I could duplicate that. But I was able to, so that was really good. Currently leading the championship for Thunderbike and Super Twins. Uh, we'll see how that turns out at the end of the weekend. Uh, it'll be close. It'll be close between me and uh, me and the next rider, Brett. But so far, so good. So we'll see. Plans for 2023. Um, well, coming into this year, I said this was my kind of last full year I was going to commit. No matter what, I wasn't missing a race round. And uh, that was with the caveat that a family, family may be growing next year. Uh, it's not yet. So 
I'm going to keep that one kind of in limbo. I'll uh, see how we go coming into next year. If the rounds are spaced and I can maybe hit a couple weeks closer together, uh, I'll try. I I've loved this. I've done so well this year. I'd hate to just kind of let it go next year, but I'll be here as much as I can be. I'd, I'd hate to miss it. Plans for 2023, um, I'm going to try to get my A bike back up to spec and what I needed to do. Um, that's going to be my main focus, um, just to get that going and get back to the times where I was uh, before I uh, took the spill in turn one. Uh, keys to going fast, that's, yeah, keys to going fast is, is tricky. I think being comfortable is probably the first one, and a big portion of that is the suspension. I know for myself, uh, getting myself comfortable on the bike, if you're not comfortable and the bike's doing weird things, you're not going to go fast. It's going to distract you. So you're constantly thinking about what the bike's doing as opposed to thinking about, uh, you know, where to brake, where to turn, what's going on that way. So working with the other riders, I'm trying to get rid of whatever their issue is. If it's bottoming out here, if it's, it's bouncy there, I try to eliminate that first and then uh, keep moving forward. And, and then naturally they go faster and now there's a new problem that we got to fix, which is fine. Oh man, this year uh, a lot of people have kept me going and thank God I've so far one round to go but kept everything shiny so finest dips keeping my paint looking amazing, um, heroic racing leathers, my gloves, my suit, uh, just top notch, per fit perfect, feel great. Um, Rick's Motorsport Electrics came on this year and gave me a free starter when uh, my A-bike here wasn't, wasn't firing every time. And um, Cycle Gear Racing keeps me going. Uh, lots of discounted parts and whatnot. So my family, my wife for letting me still do this. Uh, my dad's here every round supporting me. So yeah, a lot of people who keep, keep me going. All the people in Center Garage 4 and uh, friends, everyone here at, at Niemer is just amazing to keep this running. So thank you to everyone. Uh, so, yep, a big thanks. Um, my pit mate, uh, Tim Hogan and Superbike Services, he's always uh, helped me out and getting the good setup. Uh, everyone at Seaco Sports Cycle, Jesse, Adam, um, couldn't do it without them. Uh, Adam at AK Race Fab, um, Dunlop, uh, my parents, huge help, so couldn't do it without any of them. Uh, plans for 2023, just continuing to try to get better uh, personally as a rider. I, I'm pretty happy I, I you know, went faster this year, so I want to continue doing that. I know the, my old girls still have, have some more time in them. Uh, so yeah, improving my riding still, just kind of being cleaner, making sure I hit all my markers you know, where I should. And then uh, working with more riders. I, I love helping out the riders, helping them, helping them get comfortable, seeing them get fast, having them ride by and you know, new personal best or something like that. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun doing that. So definitely want to do a lot more of the super bike services, um, you know, book and workout. And yeah, just, I just like being up on the motorcycles. <laughs> so just keep doing that is great. All right, so round six, it was honestly probably my best round I've ever had. I. Um, I got a 17.3, which was like amazing for me. I really like, I wasn't even expecting it, still getting used to the bike, but everything clicked together perfect. The weather was a little colder, so it uh, helped the bike run better. And uh, these uh, amazing Corelli tires, they um, they really hook up in the cold. So I uh, I was able to really send it, get that 17.3. And um, on Sunday, I won Moto3 and 500 Superbike, which was like also another surprise, running those good times. So, you know, battling it out with everyone up front was amazing and now we got even more competition this weekend so it's just it's it was great and it's still going to be great so uh yeah i mean it was it was the best round i've had so far and i'm just looking forward to more of it uh round six that was definitely one of my more rough weekends uh, i i tossed it on the ground uh after that i didn't really have the confidence that I was needing to keep up with everyone else. So I was a little off, but hopefully this round I will uh, step it back up. So by far round six is my best race round of the year. I dropped 1.2 seconds off my personal best. Uh, I did an 18-2, which was awesome. Uh, I finished five out of my six races on the podium with a few thirds and a few seconds. Really, I can't complain. It was just an awesome round for me. I really progressed in my riding and then I can't wait to uh, progress more this round. 
Um, the last couple of weekends to transition from amateur to expert has been pretty good. I've been able to latch on to a few people and been able to drop times like that. I'm down into the consistent 21s and it's, um, I'm starting to feel comfortable with the bike and I'm going to push for 20s this weekend. The plans for this round is I want to finish on the podium again in 500 Super Sport and Superbike. Uh, those are the two classes that I really need to focus on. I'm also in the running for the combined ultralight GP championship, so I have a, play, uh, a spot for third place in the championship, which I'm really going to aim for. So this weekend uh, has definitely not been off to a great start. It took a little tumble in 1A this morning. Uh, no big deal. The bike's fine. I'm fine. So we're just going to get back out there and get back up to speed. Uh, it's really cold this weekend, so bar pressure used to be super low and all the used to be all in the legs. So that's one thing that I really need to focus on this weekend. Right, so next year I plan to stay in the same class as I'm in this year. I'll probably race the same bike and then I'm going to get an extra bike to have as like a backup bike with spares that'll help go onto this bike and then like have an engine swap or something if we need to, which will definitely be a help. And, um, and then, yeah, we're just going to go for a championship. We're going to go for f as many as we can and um, see how it goes, see how the competition is, see who shows up. and. Um, yeah, I mean it should be it should be good. I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, we got to finish out this season first, but uh, once this season finish, finishes off good, then we can look forward to next season, figure out more of our plans on what we're gonna do, who we're gonna stick with, and just how everything's gonna go. But it should uh, everything should work out, and it should be um, should be fun for sure. 2023, uh, hopefully. I'll start riding these less and move up to a, uh, an R6 and race in the middleweight class. The transition from these two, it's, it's night and day. They're completely different machines. Uh, this, uh, it's nice and light. It flicks left and right, nice and easy. You turn the throttle however you want. It's just like, all right, we're gonna go. Uh, the R6, it doesn't mess around. It, it will tell you what is okay and what's not, and you have to work with that, and uh, it, it's a different beast, I'll tell you that. So the plans for next season is to continue with the Penguin uh, Mentor Program. Uh, I plan to do six classes, but it really all depends on what the uh, pocket looks like. Um, so that's really going to be deciding on what I do. Uh, possibly a Moto America round at Jersey or Pitt next year. I haven't decided yet. Depends on the funds. Um, but I'd like to go there. Uh, it's just if I'm prepared. So we're going to find out uh, by round four next year. Um, we don't really have anything set right now. Um, I'm thinking about racing the 400 again and maybe moving up somewhere in the middle of the season if we can get our hands on a bike. There's so many people I want to thank, like obviously my parents, mom and dad, uh, my dad for getting everything ready with the bike and getting me here every weekend and figuring out the issues with it and getting everything dialed in. It's been amazing and I can't thank them enough. Um, the Blocks, Eli and Eric, they've been a huge help. I, um, Oh man, it's crazy just what they know and how much they can help me and like with everything, body position, bike work, just everything. They're amazing. Uh, let's see, PTC racing and ECB racing for just everything that we can all put together as a team to form, you know, like better um, ability for all of us. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, oh, I want to thank uh, Mike Kurtz at Pirelli for hooking me up with these amazing tires. They've uh, been all great all year and um, I really can't thank him enough. Um, what else we got? Uh, Bell Helmets, uh, Dave Gallagher for hooking me up with those. It's, um, they've been great all season and uh, I, really, uh, I really couldn't ask for anything better for, to wear for a helmet. And um, RB Graphics and Innovative for um, hooking the bike up, getting it looking good and uh, supporting me all season. And uh, SVM for their uh, continued support of uh, Team ECB and um, just helping us all out. I know they do a huge part in um, everything and uh, yeah, just everything that's gone into this whole program and all my friends for coming out and watching and family members and everyone for cheering me on and uh, making this such a great year. It's been amazing. I couldn't ask for anything better. So thank you. Uh, 
first off, definitely John Grush. He, he ran the whole series. He's before the weekends, he's living at my house, working, getting everything done, and he's helped me so much in every way, getting me these bikes all set up, and I, I can't thank him enough for everything that he's done for the series and for me. And uh, obviously my parents, my mom's working, making the series run too, and uh, my father for all the on-track stuff. It's, uh, it's great when we're racing and I see the, the racer in him more than the father when he can be working with me and uh, help me out a little and sometimes he goes, no, nah, I'm, I'm gonna go out and win this race and he just leaves me in the dust showing that he's, he's still the Rick Doucette. And uh, other sponsors, you got a Plastile Power Sports, First Track Sports Shop, uh, Dunlop Tires, REB Graphics, Ugh, so, so many. Yeah, I want to thank my parents, my mom and my dad for like always being there. I got to thank Penguin Road Racing School. I got to thank Woodcraft Technologies, Vanson Leathers, um, Bell Helmets, and um, REB Graphics, so AK Race Fab, Certified Knee Draggers, New York Safety Track, all the people who have helped me get from where I am now. So a few people I need to thank for this year is definitely my mom and dad. They've just been a huge help with supporting me through the good and the bad. Uh, Woodcraft and Eric Wood with the Penguin Mentor Program has just been awesome with mental preparation and race prep. Uh, Eric Block, he's just been a huge help keeping my bike nice and sound. Uh, this thing's a missile, so I can't complain. It's been running perfect all year. Uh, Nalt Power Sports of Wyndham, Manchester, and Littleton. Huge help with gear, parts, etc. It's just great people over there. Vance and Leathers, just keeping me safe when I'm on the track. Their suits and the airbag, it works great. And Rev Graphics and Innovative Motorsports, just been a huge help throughout my program with the uh, parts and stuff like that. Just keeping my bike nice and clean. Thank you to everyone that's helping me out this year. GTL rundown, seventh round. Uh, I believe I come in in uh, third place. I had 
as per these many interviews, you know, I blew up one bike, picked another bike up, here it is. Started to get used to it, it's nice. Started to run some decent lap times with it. So going into that race, was in third place and didn't really care so much about it. Just like it is what it is. Go out and uh, get loose for the weekend is commonly what it's used for. Uh, I went out and just ran my race. Got out in the lead and laid down really good lap times. It was shortened from 25 uh, minutes to 20, which was good. A little cool out. Uh, and I let the uh, you know cards fall where they may. It turns out that uh, my buddy Rick, who was in the lead of that race going into in, into it, uh, blew up his motor. I can't remember where or because I was out front. But he then no. I guess the track comes up on you know the uh, the track intel whatever it is for for timing. I guess Eli's uh, who was in the running for the championship as well had a group of people telling him, you know, wave and no worries, you, you, you got the championship. Well, mathematics would say you don't. And unfortunately for him, he uh, lost it, it looks like, by one point as we do the, the math. This being a double points weekend, that makes it, uh, you know, that much more fruitful to really do it. Uh, so that's kind of a rundown. It appears right now with my math that uh, I have won that championship just by doing what you're supposed to. Go out and you race, you race the track, you race that day, you race who's there. Don't worry about the points. So a lesson to, to learn for, for young, young Eli. So GCL started off pretty good. I pulled another pretty good start, got around Adam Geyer in turn one. And uh, you know, it's, um, it was a good race. I kind of was being a little bit numb and I wanted to use my head yesterday for again, which I was this year. And you know, I tried doing points calculations in my head before the race and I knew I had to beat Ricky, but I completely forgot about Brett. Uh, I should have known about Brett because me and Brett have been battling all year. So um, I let, uh, once I found out Ricky pulled out of the race, I let, knew that I can just sit up and Brett can go. Until about probably five laps later, I did the math in my head and I realized I would lose the championship by one point, which is kind of funny. So um, my fault. but. You know, I'm glad Brett got the championship. He earned it. I mean, man's been ripping on that new 660. He's been on it. He's such a good rider. Same with, you know, same with Ricky. He's such an amazing rider. I mean, the guy does so many classes, and you know, I just I gotta give both of them some major respect, especially because you know I'm a little bit younger than them. So I mean, for them to keep up and push me to another level, it's just crazy. So you know, major respect to them. And uh, this Wednesday, actually Wednesday before this weekend, I picked up the new 400 I got right here. And um, you know, I raced the 400 last year and I kind of just faded away from them. I sold both of them and you know, I kind of missed them uh, during this year. And I'm done racing the Motard next year, so I wanted to choose a bike. And I chose the 400 and you know, we kind of got the bike through together um, in terms. And you know, I mean, the Barkon bike was perfectly set up. I mean, we had to change a few things, you know, springs, clutch, you know, we'll get it back to the way that we fully want it. But um, I got about two sessions on Friday on the thing and I was able to come out and get a really good start from the third row and pull a whole shot and kind of just lead from there. And, uh, you know, I looked back probably lap two, saw Adam, my teammate was right behind me and he was ripping all three, me, him, Renee, we're all, running 17s, just trying to get through lappers. And we kind of just had a really good race and ended up with me winning at the finish and taking home a little bit of cash from my pocket and uh, definitely need that. So yeah, it was a good race and I'm just glad that I was able to come out and after such a hard day yesterday, um, come out and be good. 2023, can't believe I'm saying that as I started in 1991. Woo! Uh, Plans are to probably do the same thing. I am resurrecting my old big big Ducati, so that'll be in the mix somehow as I really, really like that bike. The Prilly is a great little bike, but I just have a hankering for a little more horsepower. So we're in the works of working on that, and it'll probably be the same club stuff. I'll be right in the same spot doing uh, the same thing I do, hopefully. Uh, so 2022 uh, Super Singles for me was a very up and down uh, series. Has a lot of issues with my A bike. Uh, gave me four years of great service with just changing oil, but I think she's uh, she's getting worn out. Um, had some electrical stuff going on, and of course, if you've chased that stuff before, it's it's never fun or easy. Um, so 
Eric Block helped me out a lot this year uh, with being able to compete and giving me a bike to ride when my bike wasn't working right, which was most of the season. Um, so I couldn't have done it without him. Um, and uh, that was true this weekend too. Uh, my bike was uh, not gonna be able to be raced this weekend and uh, Eric was uh, gracious enough again to let me use his bike. Um, and I went out and needed to beat uh, Mr. Zoner in order to secure third in the championship. Um, which I had a terrible start and I thought all was lost until Mike actually had an unfortunate incident. Uh, I saw him go down and won. He was okay, thank God. Um, but I put my head down and started racing forward and uh, worked my way up from about seventh or eighth place back into third place uh, to secure the championship, at least third place in the championship. So Dasher Cash today, uh, yesterday actually, um, was really good. Um, Got a really good start. Um, just got a really good start. Went around Ian into one. Uh, came out behind Paul in two. Out drove him into three. And you know, uh, because my dad wasn't here because of his injury, uh, my teammate's father Adam was giving me signs in the front straightaway. And you know, he gave me a pretty a sign, pretty pretty big gap on the first lap. And I was like, no, he's bullshitting me. And I looked back and I probably had a two second gap on the first lap. And you know, I was like, holy crap, I just pulled a good gap. So, you know, I had to kind of just use my head and I thought maybe if I lose maybe four tenths a lap and try saving some energy for the end of this race, it would kind of benefit me. And started just kind of like running a consistent high 12 pace. And, um, you know, I heard Scotty coming. Scotty came in and um, he passed me once, or he tried passing me over the hill in five. I got him into six, and then the next lap he got me into six, and I got under him in seven. And we kind of went too wide throughout seven, eight, and he just pulled it. And you know, and I heard this sound behind me, and it was like, you know, and the sound I never want to hear. It's just a lightweight bike, fucking Ben. Um, nah, ben was absolutely railing on that thing yesterday. New track record on a lightweight, killing it. Um, Ben was ripping yesterday, and I just heard that thing behind me. I was like, all right, I gotta go now. So me and Scotty started pulling probably about lap eight. I think his tire faded off, and you know, me and Scotty just started dropping 12 O's. Uh, he dropped into the 11 nines, which is ridiculous fast. And uh, we had a really good race. I mean, it came down to the last lap. We got into a lapper and uh, into lap turn 10 which got us really close. He made a really good pass up the inside of 10. And um, it made me had to get onto his rear wheel out of 12. And I kind of knew, I told myself in 11, uh, I told myself I had to get a really good drive out of 12 to maybe get him into, by the finish line. And I got on the gas a little bit too hard. And I think the, I, the rear turned a little bit and I hit the drainage ditch with my front tire and it lifted the front off the ground. And I got a big head shake going down the front straight away. And, I ruined my drive, but um, you know, to run a personal best and have probably, probably one of the closest finishes with Scotty a lot of people have had. I mean, I finished .2 behind him. It was a really good accomplishment, and to run a 12 flat um, definitely stings to not run an 11. But um, you know, for doing a lot of this stuff by myself yesterday, and um, a lot of help from individual people coming in, checking in, making sure I'm all good, but kind of running my own program because of my dad not being here, it's. Um, I'm just happy, I'm proud of myself and proud of everything we've been able to accomplish this year, especially with the little amount of time I've had in this 600. So 2023, I plan on running the same championships, uh, the Super Singles, which was great fun with Sergio. Uh, congratulations to him on the championship. Uh, he's riding like awesome, uh, very proud of him. And then also lightweight sportsman again in the Motar Championship. Uh, as far as equipment goes, um, I'll probably end up getting a, a new bike. I'm going to fix this one and make this one 100% again. But I'm going to get a new bike with the new chassis and the, you know, new suspension upgrades um, and start that project, uh, probably a brand new 22 Honda. I think I'm going to stick with the Hondas um, and run those same three championships. Plants 2023. Um, you know, nothing's promised. Uh, you know, I mean, this year I was supposed to be racing dirt bikes all year. I wasn't even supposed to be doing this stuff. But, um, you know, I ran, we had a change of the year that made me race the 600, which 
I'm really grateful. Thank you to the officials and the Nehmer for making that rule. Thank you. Um, uh, really needed me to kind of, you know, I was the final, the final straw that bumped me up to this thing and realized, made my dad realize that I could race this thing. So, you know, um, I started racing this thing and we realized that um, I really like it. I really like the 600. I really like being back on a street bike and um, I, I'll definitely be keeping it for next year. And with this new 400 that I got, I will definitely be back on it. And um, I'll be back at Moto America next year for at least two, two rounds. Um, I'll be going out there and uh, I mean, any support would help. I mean, we'll try getting some support going for next year so I can be able to go out there and ride. So, you know, I'm done with the Motards, you know, it's kind of, it's been my thing for the last four years, but you know, I think time's changed and I gotta get off the thing. I mean, it's it's fun and all to ride a dirt bike, but I gotta get off the motards for sure. You know, this guy over here, John Don, over here. I don't know what his plans are, but I hope he's gonna be back here, especially with Adam. I know, I know all of our plans are gonna be back here and having a great team for next year. I mean, maybe not my dad. You know, that guy gets hurt too much. Unreal. No, but uh, yeah, no, we're gonna have some fun next year. I'm uh, glad we got such a great crew and. Um, I'm ready for getting out of after next year with Scotty. Uh, so I got to thank first and foremost my wife for coming down to all these events and uh, going through the emotional roller coaster that is racing, the ups and the downs. Uh, it's not always a good day. Um, so I appreciate her for sticking with me with that. I got to thank my in-laws who also own Promise, one of my sponsors. They're here every weekend supporting not only me but all the races around the track and cheering. Um, I got to thank motorsport.com, Yoshimura, uh, Penguin Racing School, Martin Hanlon Photography for making me look way faster than I actually am. Uh, Metzler Tires, MTag Pirelli, Mike Kurtz, couldn't do it without him. Uh, Innovative Motorsport, um, Bell Helmets, uh, just everybody out there that helps me out, I really appreciate it and it wouldn't be possible without them.